The final day of pool play at the Senior League Softball World Series at the Lower Sussex Little League Complex in Roxana, Delaware. This afternoon, the West Champs in Hawaii set to take on Irmo, South Carolina, representing the Southeast Champions. Time, temperature just under 90 degrees. Meanwhile, in Honolulu, almost 11 a.m. Eastern time. And first pitch, Hunter Jackson hit by the pitch. And Hawaii has their leadoff batter on. One for five performance yesterday against the Netherlands as Jackson goes for second. Stolen base and a runner in scoring position. Sousa one RBI, dancer according to her teammates. That one misses outside. And a walk puts two on with nobody out to begin this game for Hawaii. Likely to go pro. Sends this one to left center field, playable. And Bridget Keene in left field with the first out. Ball gets away on the throw attempt back to third. Jackson is able to advance along with Souza. Sent to short. And the line out to KJ Hill, and there's two away. Where's the bunt and a catch made behind the plate. How about that by Eason Davies with the nice web gem. Most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse. This one sent to third. Rainey across for the put out. Five to three and the first out is recorded in the bottom of the first. Grounder to second. A little bit of a bobble, but over to first, Uyama's throw in time, and there are quickly two away. She goes by the 17-year-old, parents Barbara and Michael. First pitch swinging, and underneath to make the play is Taryn Ho. Just an eight-pitch inning for Taj. Sends this one to short, high fly ball, Hill under it. And the first out here in the top of the second. This one sent in to right center field for a base hit. First hit of the game. Called for a strike three. Fly ball to short, Hill is underneath, and that ends the top of the second inning. Hoover, <laughs> which I think is pretty clever. This one through for a base hit in the left field. First hit of the day for South Carolina as the leadoff hitter, Hager, getting on. First pitch swinging too short, Ho steps on second, across to first for the double play. Fly ball into left field, waved off by Ho, who makes the catch. That ends the inning. This time with the bunt. Davis there with the catch. One pitch, one out. That one through for a base hit out of the reach of the diving hill. And Souza is on board with a one-out single to Hawaii, a base runner. First pitch swinging. There to make the put out is Alderman. And there is two away. This one sent to the corner and left. That gets past Keen. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Souza is going to be coming into home, standing up for the first run of this game. On a two-out RBI double by Hay Mind does so on the field. Here's a base hit in the left field. 
Rainey's going to come in to score on the RBI single with the advancement on to second for Uyama. It's a 2-0 lead here in this third inning for Hawaii. That 3-4-5 part of the lineup for Honolulu has been productive throughout this tournament. Ho Rainey and now Uyama. Sent to first. Alderman makes the catch that ends the inning. One, or, one runner left on, but an RBI double by Rainey, followed up by an RBI to the Netherlands. Ground ball to the shortstop, Ho, across for the out. Six to three with one away. He's going to be playing on the collegiate level at Columbia International University. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball again, taken by Ho. From the back foot, unable to make the stab, was Atagi. And it. Jean, ground ball to second, Uyama. Can't handle it. In time though. The ball rolled right into the glove of Ho, who able to get the force out as a result. Hoping to get some good vibes here. 2-2. Laced into left field. Fair ball, according to the third base umpire. Keen's going to come in to score. Rounding second on her way to third. Sliding in head first. Safe is the call on a two-out RBI triple from KG Hill. Hill and South Carolina. As we can see from the replay, she is living up to the scatter. Just one at bat yesterday in the loss to the Netherlands. Going opposite way, base hit, and we are tied up at two. Coming in to score is Hill. And Rummer with a two out RBI single. Team pitches for Souza in the first two innings. 21 in this inning. This one, a line drive into center field right into the glove of Jackson, but an RBI triple from KG Hill, followed up by Rock. You can hear the cheers coming from the dugout. Incredible smiles. Barbosa gets a hold of one, but a line drive put out in the center field as Hill makes the catch for the first out of the inning. That was one of the most notable. Gets a hold of one. Shallow left field. What a play by the center fielder, Hill. Coming in for the diving catch, add that up to be a web gem for Olivia Hill, who has recorded both outs in the fourth. And hit her Estes. Hit by a pitch, the second one given up by Gant today. And so with two. Jackson. Goes down swinging, second strikeout recorded by Adelie Gant in a 10 pitch inning for the South Carolina. Hager, Peppers, and Hill. First pitch down the left field line, past the diving Rainey, all the way to the corner. As Hager goes into second with a leadoff double. Ground ball right back to Souza, checked on second. Haggard advancing to third on the putout with one away. Olivia. For the life of me, I have no idea. This one driven to deep center. Playable though by Jackson and the sacrifice allows for Haggard to score. And for the first time today, South Carolina has the lead three to two. Souza with a 1-0 pitch. Ground ball to third. Rainey gets it across. And that will end the inning. But a sacrifice fly gets the go-ahead run across for South Carolina. 85 degrees. That one misses for ball four. Leadoff walk surrendered by Gant. Start off this fifth inning.
This one sent to second. Remember there for the out. One away. Favorite book for her, the Giving Tree. A one. Pop up to third. Haggard there for the second out. Two outs in the top of the fifth. By the way, Honolulu, and I fully admit it. Off to second, Souza standing up. And a runner in scoring position for Hawaii with Cliff Floyd. Pedro Martinez to third on the throw. Davis late on the tag as Souza credited with a stolen base. Soft liner that gets into the glove of Hill. That ends the threat. One left on base for Hawaii as they. Ground ball to second. Should be an easy play for Uyama. And a mishandle on the catch by Atagi. That's going to be an error on the first baseman. 0 2. Keen gets through. Ho oh, able to make the play to second for the force out. Wow, what a play by Taryn Ho. It's short, staying with it. Back to the top of the order, KG Hill. First pitch swinging. Atagi calling everyone off, makes the catch. One pitch, two outs. Ask her parents, Kim and Justin, for a picture to see. One, two pitch. In for a called strike three. Advancing on the throw, but it does not matter either way. Strikeout that ends the inning. The first one of the day for Souza. This tournament currently seated number two in Pool B. Lost to Beardstown, Illinois, the defending World Series champs. As this one sent to deep left field, and we are tied up at three. Aldosa Caliola with her second home run, a solo shot of this tournament, and it's 3-3. What a shot off the bat from Dosa Caliola. Second home run of this tournament. Had the solo home run on Monday. And here all smiles, all dancing. <laughs> the players. This one sent to second. Hummer with the Sun in her face, able to make the put out. First out recorded here, World Series. This one sent into shallow right center field, bounces in for a base hit. As Atagi on board with a one out single. Ground ball that gets through for a base hit. Estes in that number nine spot delivers once again. And Hawaii threatening here in the top of the six. Two on with one out with a run already across. Led off with a solo home run. Line out to Short Hill. Wild throw that gets over the head of Alderman. And advancing into second and third are the runners for Hawaii. So Atagi now at third. Here's the payoff pitch. Outside ball four. Souza patient at the plate, draws a bases loaded walk with two outs. That one in for a called strike. Can't with a crucial strikeout that ends the threat. Bases loaded left on for Hawaii. Four teams advancing with the issues of travel for the Philippines. Ho with another backhand stab for the putout. So all four of those teams will advance, just a matter of the seeding, one through four. Liner drops down to Ho, across, quickly throws it across, not in time. It'll be an infield single for Haggard. And she is on with one out, the go-ahead run. He there are households in South Carolina divided because of that. This one, a line drive, it's gonna reach all the way to the wall. Haggard on her way to third. 
And a stand-up double with one out off the bat of Layla Peppers. Gloves, give me a little Matt Carpenter action. Sent up to second, Uyama tracks it down for the out. There's two away. Art counts. First pitch swinging, two-third. Rainey across, ends the threat. South Carolina leaves two on, but is unable to get a run across. We head to the seventh, all tied up at three. In the Ground ball to second, should be an easy play. Romer over to first, four to three. First time today we have seen Hawaii retired by a ground ball in this game. First pitch swinging, Uyama out of the reach of the diving right fielder Bickley, and it will result in a first pitch taking Uyama on her way to second into center field, heading to third, the throw not in time. And a stolen base plus an issue coming up for Adelie Gant. As Aldosa Caliola sends it to shallow left field, tagging up from third. Uyama to the plate, and she will score the go ahead run for Hawaii on a sacrifice fly from Bailey Aldosa Caliola. Line drive shot, Hill makes the grab. That ends the inning. A sacrifice fly though by Aldosa Caliola. Extend this game for South Carolina. Ground ball to second. Uyama on to first, and there is one away. Destiny Tautaufi, by the way, the new first baseman for. They drop to one and three. South Carolina could drop to one and three. Keen with a base hit in a right field. And if Canada picks up their first win today, and now a check on. Hill with a smash to second for one. And there will be the force out that gets Keen out at second. Hill able to beat the one-two pitch from Souza. Strike three call and Hawaii comes away with the win four to three. And after ball game, final game, two hours and seven minutes. Taja Souza with a second straight day with a complete game as Hawaii improves to three and one as they end pool play. South Carolina dropping to one and three in pool play. Hawaii four runs on eight hits with one Third error. South, South Carolina three, three runs, eight, eight hits error. with two errors. Hager, double, Hill, but it was the play. Off the home run from Bailey, Aldo.